Ooh, that's loose. I barely touched it. Okay, we're going through all the parts piles here to find out what the hell we got here. We got a brand new Temkin bearing. These are new. new. We're not using this stuff anymore. This is a seal spacer. Yeah, I don't think I want to use this Lovely. again. Somebody replaced the seal, so I'll put a big gouges in it. Get out of your thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You it's can garbage. see it. You can see it much less feeling. <laughs> now, I could polish it out to get the high spot, but there'll still be a low spot right there, and it's right next to where the seal lip is up. So, it probably, it might seep oil. It might tear the seal up slightly, but it, it's not worth the chance. Stator, all this stuff here. Good. That's good right there. So you got new bolts here too. Why? Because. Because you work at a Harley dealership and you can afford it. Um, I don't know about the afford it part, but oh. yes. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with these ones. Wasn't really sure. Yeah, there's a difference. This one's dirty. That's the difference. Did you get any nuts too? No. Oh, see, so you have to use the old nuts then. Okay. You might as well just use all the old parts. They all match then. Well, we'll save those for the next guy. Mm -hmm. Makes you feel better? Yep. <laughs> What's that sound like? My bike before it blew up. <laughs> Might sound a little warped. Not quite flat. You see the curve? These are S and S too. Look at that. How much bend is in there? So how'd you bend those? Just got them like that. Over tightening does it. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we'll have to... I don't need them. We might have to straighten these a little bit. Uh, I don't need them. I got other ones. You got new ones? Mm hmm Oh, okay. We'll use the new ones. I'll use the new ones on those. What about the head bolts? Uh, that's what I see is what I got. Okay, we're going to use these again. Then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that looks fine. Figure it out eight. That's a clutch part. That goes with yep. that. Didn't know I was working on the transmission. Mm -hmm. I don't know what these are, a shock spacer or something. Got suspension parts in here too. That's good. wonderful. You know what that is, don't you? No idea. Ground wire. Mm. Fancy. Look at those chrome bolts. I don't know what those are for. Here's the nuts we need for the hold the motor together. Check head we're not using, that we're not using. Don't know what that is, don't know what that is. Don't need that. <coughs> this is probably motor mount hardware or something. I'm not using that either. Mm -hmm. None of that crap. That's probably for your ignition cover. These are intake manifold, but these are short as hell. Why are they so short? Should be like that much longer. Mm -hmm. These are way short. I'd get longer ones of these so you don't strip your head out. Okay, I will be. Mm -hmm. Always put them in the head first, all the way until they bottom out, and make sure it's, it goes down under the height of this. Right. Gotcha. 
But right now they're probably going to go in there that far, but they should be longer just a little bit. These are probably three quarters maybe. Hmm. I think stock is seven eighths. Yeah, these are three quarter inch. I think stock is seven eighths and then the one inch is what I try to use if they'll fit. Sometimes I have to tap the head a little deeper, but more threads are better. So you have to come up with those. These look like air cleaner or something. You don't want these things? Just no. Yeah. I don't want them. The ignition cup there. That's the ignition module. We're not doing that. Don't know what that is. Air cleaner screws from SNS. &S. You got an SNS, &S, I can mm -hmm. tell. Oh, I can tell. Mm -hmm. These are rocker box tops. This is lifter block. So they got one lifter block screw. I think we're missing a bunch of hardware here. This is cam cover here. You see a cam cover? Again? Come on. What's that? I don't know. This is for your transmission side cover. I don't know what that's for. Yeah. This is stump Tatro down with the hardware goes to. You're trying to stop me on where the hardware goes, aren't you? It's test time. Ooh, look at that. New bolt. New nuts. Shoot, maybe we'll use those new bolts now. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Got new hardware now. Kind of a waste of new hardware, but that's up to you. These are top motor mount bolts, something, maybe. No, those are 516. Those are not top motor mount. I don't know what the hell those are for. You don't need the reed valve now, do you? I don't need it right now. No. Yeah, you can cover though. Okay, get rid of this one. Yeah, I have no idea what those are. Oh, there's another box of shit. Okay, this is primary hardware. Primary covered all, all primary stuff here. We got more camp more screws. We got four of these. I think these are for the rocker box. They look a little short though for that, but okay, so here's our cover. You want to put your bolts in here and see if they're long enough. Kind of a short. Yeah. Two threads. I don't think so. These bolts Is suck. Like oil pump or cam cover. Good. We're gonna need some because these bolts are way short. See how many threads they're giving you? Say again? See how many threads we got? Oh yeah, not enough. No, that ain't enough to squat. Oh, these. these are the same one, aren't they? This looks like this one. Yep. Except they didn't give you the washer. Washer's key. Both too short. Don't worry about stripping that. That's not even two diameters sticking through. I don't like any of these bolts. They all suck. 
They're all too short. They need to be minimum an eighth inch longer than this, if not a quarter inch longer. Definitely an eighth inch longer. Eighth inch would put you right about here, which would be minimum. All right, I'm not using any of this crap. Send this junk back to Tokyo. Now there's a nice bolt length. See, look at that. Perfect. That's what it should be right there. This is what it should be. And most of the time you can run them that much longer, but you got to check them to make sure they don't bottom out. But this length is definitely a lot better than that. But. So. I've only got one we can use. You got some kind of a bracket, exhaust bracket on this bike that goes on the cover here? Yes. How thick is it? Should be at least a quarter inch. No, I think it's like an eighth. Eighth of an inch? On the exhaust bracket? Jeez. See, eighth inch on these would make these right here, which is a little pushing it for being too short. Quarter inch would be way over here. That'd definitely be too short. Well, I'd like to see these an eighth of an inch longer. These are inch and an eighth. They should be inch and a quarter. So I'm all right with it right here. It gives me seven sixteenths of bolt sticking out, three eighths inch of worth of thread. I'm good with that. This one here is a over a half inch of thread hanging out, which is a little bit heavy, but that's as easy as enough room to do it. So if you put the bracket on here, they'll be too short. I don't like anything you got here for the cam cover. They all suck. All right, now we're gonna look at our bushings here. Got a camshaft for me? What? Camshaft. So I'm gonna put this on the end of, this, on the, end of the pinion shaft and see how loose this is. Now it's too tight. Uh, yes. We replaced that. We didn't hone it. We didn't finish hone it. Yeah, that's tight. A wee bit. We set that for the old flywheel. The worn out flywheel? Yes. The worn out flywheel. Well, this one's not worn out, so it don't fit now. That feels good. Cam feels good. Look at all these new Harley parts everywhere. Ooh, brand new parts. All right, uh, what else are we gonna do here? I need a right case. <clears throat> Come up with the uh, main bearing parts yet? They all appear to be missing. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this bearing is not going to work very well. That bearing's got high clearance. It's got a lot of clearance. That's a high clearance bearing right there. Yeah, that's, that's got some issues there. on okay we got to work on the honing this the size but we haven't got the bearing yet for using it we're gonna need a new cam bearing for this because <clears throat> there's no rollers in it did you have a new uh, cam bearing or not no Them stupid things. I want some main bearings. Okay, we got to set our indicator here. It's cold, so 
to get our new zero. The new zero appears to be above the old zero. Move it a little bit. Let's see, that looks a little closer. That's all I got. Well, you got problems then. We need a bearing and a snapper. Okay. That's pretty loose. Is that 16? to 16. What size is your shaft over here? Not doing your job. Gonna fire you. Get some rude comments about your quality. Nine there. Hmm. Let's move that around a little bit. It's seven to eight right there. We get nine over here though, I think. Eight. Right there looks like nine to me. Could be eight, but it's more like nine. I'm going to call it eight because it gets lower on the other side. Shouts out around a little bit. It's hard to believe on a gem shaft. <clears throat> There's your better nap. Alright, so eight plus one is what? Right. Eighteen. We have 15, 16. If your rollers are undersized, we're fine. But you don't have any rollers. So we're going to use for rollers. Nothing? No. no. Nothing? Got a snapper to go with that? Nothing? Nothing to go with that. Standard. We're going to hone it a little bit. That's just a standard. I wonder what size standard is. Uh, we need a snap ring too. Is that snap all right with you? Sure. Well, you didn't get the cam bearing either. Grab me one of those bearings where it says cam bearing over there. Eye level. Left. Straight up. Yeah, one that says cam. A whole row of them there. See them? Yeah, all the way to the left, just grab one. It says BT cam on it. That says twin cam. That's TC. You want BC. Or BT, excuse me. There's some bearings. These are the old style ones I can't get no more. BT, that's one of them. 
Now these are the old ones I can't buy no more. These have one more roller in them than the new piece of crap ones you want to use. You don't mind an extra roller in there, do you? No. No, that's not a problem? No. Good. Quality cans. Yeah, these are a couple tenths under, damn it. Yeah, maybe not. It's hard to tell, they got grease and puke on them. Good. Probably haven't honed this yet. <laughs> you hone it, it'll be a little different. Probably all right though. All right, so I'm gonna give us a quick hone. I'm gonna clean the crap off these. See what the action is out. Clean that back off. Was the right case at? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, we need a needle bearing in here. Let's do that right now. Okay, this one has rollers in it. I find they fit better with the actual rollers in there. You like it with the rollers in there? That's an improvement for you? It, in general. In general? Yeah, that's not always, but in yeah, general. It's, it's a little bit tighter. We're okay with that. Get a hammer. time I did this I broke the case I broke the repair guess what you have a repair too mm -hmm. now what's going to come out the repair or the bearing or both we're shooting for just the bearing ah uh, that'd be nice you, I know, wonder... you know what the chance of that's going to be I don't know what the chances are. I ain't holding my breath. Should we apply heat? I don't know if that's going to help any. But this time I'm going to mark it before I do it. I wonder what kind of Loctite could possibly be on that. I'm hoping it's got sleeve retainer on the part that matters and nothing on the part that don't. Because I'm going to put it right back in the same spot. All right, moment of truth. Fill up. I'm good with that. The repair stayed put, but that bearing fell out. That was not good. They honed the idea of it. Run your finger in there and you feel it. Go around a circle, feel the dimpling as you go around. Mm -hmm. It's not straight. 
That's not a good sign for your fitment of your bearing to stay in there smooth and work correctly. Um, when you can push the bearing in like that by hand, that's a bad repair. Wow. It's tapered. Bill mouth. They fitted that thing with a stupid dingleberry. Or one of the stupid brake hones, one of the two. Dumbasses. See this lip? It's bigger than the idea of that. So when they took the dingleberry or a brake hone and started honing on it, it was tapered like that because this was smaller on this end. So when they cut it, they cut a big taper to it. That's why our bearing was in there halfway without anything holding it. Wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Not good. All right, we got two ways of doing this. Start over, or glue it in. Which one do you like? 